Hi guys! Looking to take your network system set up to the next level? Now whether you're running a small business, managing a large enterprise, or simply just looking to upgrade your home network, the Fiber PoE switch can help you to achieve faster and more reliable connection across all your devices. Don't let clutter and unreliable network to hold your back. Upgrade to the Fiber PoE switch and experience the benefits for yourself. And today we are going to use the outdoor Fiber PoE switch to connect to multiple devices. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we will be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So we know our PoE switch can provide both power and data through a single Ethernet cable to the edge devices. But there's a distance limitation of 328 feet, that's about 100 meter. On the other hand, the fiber optic cable can provide a longer distance run. So the fiber PoE switch is actually the combination of both. It can provide lightning fast data transfer speed and simplify the de device's powering. With the advanced knowledge, it allows you to connect and power multiple devices with a single fiber optic cable and eliminating the need for messy cables and multiple power sources. So it is ideal for business and home network setup. You can work with security cameras, wireless access point, and other IP devices. So without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and check out our setup today. So this is the setup for today. I'm going to connect the three IP cameras and one wireless access point at the edge using the outdoor version fiber PoE switch. And also here we have the 300 meter fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency, and longer distance run. And also this is pre-mated, so we don't need to worry about the connector. And it's also 100% tested in the factory. Now the outdoor fiber PoE switch can supply up to 10 kilometers fiber optic network between point A to point B for up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rates. So it sounds pretty nice, right? And also this is IP67 waterproof, so you can put it under a harsh environment. The working temperature range is from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. And this outdoor fiber PoE switch has 8 ports available in total. And you can choose the switch that is suitable for your application. Depends on the port number and also indoor or outdoor version. Now over this side, we have the media converter and the router. So let's do the connection and explain it along the way. So this is the beginning of our connection. This is the router to provide the main network. And this is the monitor and the NVR. The images will show up later on after I connect it with the IP cameras at the edge. And remember, we have a media converter here. And what does it do? Since the fiber optic cable is using a fiber optical signal to transmit data. But however, we have the router and the edge devices using electrical signal to transmit data. That's why we need a media converter here to convert the fiber optical signal into electrical signal so they can talk to each other. And over this side, this is where we put in the Ethernet cable to transmit the electrical signal and over this side is the SFP slot. Now, the SFP slot is for the SFP transceiver and this is usually sold separately because we have to determine what kind of fiber optic cable you use and what kind of connector. And this is where you connect with the fiber optic cable. So now let's do the connection together. I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router with the NVR. And then using another short patch cord to connect our main network with the media converter. 
and this media converter is require power source so I'm just going to plug it in here and this is the Ethernet cable that connects it to the router and the SFP transceiver this is an LC connector and let's use strength A this is a two strength fiber optic cable I'm going to plug it in and put into the SFP slot okay so on this side is connected this is the 300 meter fiber optic cable and let's come over to this side to our outdoor fiber PoE switch and you can see we have two SFP slots here and eight ports eight PoE ports and this is the redundant dual DC power if one power set is down, you can plug in another power set and the other power set will come up and work immediately so there will be no latency. And now I'm going to plug in the SFP slot over here. And remember we use string A, so let's plug it in. and it's already be powered up and the power set is built into the fiber PoE switch since I'm going to connect with four IP devices so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in four Ethernet cable here okay so here four Ethernet cable and I'm going to connect with the IP cameras here and we have the second one and this fiber PoE switch here can also provide extended 328 feet on this side because remember the PoE has a limitation of 328 feet so here is another 328 feet over this side this is the wireless SS point going to plug it in here and we can see the indicated lights is getting on now they are all getting power and data and you can see there's no power source needed for the cameras and the wireless access point only one power set for the fiber PoE switch and we can see the image are showing up I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video so the whole setup is done so here are a few more tips for you if you're pulling a fiber optic cable make sure you use the pulling eye at the beginning of your installation and also pull your fiber optic cable through a conduct if you have to bury under the ground since this is made out of glass so it's a little bit fragile and also you should verify your power and network connectivity you should make sure your devices is working and also your cable connection is plugged in tight and if you have no AC adapter or any power source available at the sites where you have to install IP cameras or other devices you can watch a video here on how to use the fiber optic cable at an outdoor deployment and thank you so much for watching us today and I will see you next time